Well, hello and welcome back to the channel. So I hope everyone is having a great New Year's Eve celebration. It has a fabulous New Year's Day celebration as well tomorrow. Um, so we're going to go ahead and get this kicked off with our collective reading. This will be for all signs, which means it may or may not resonate with your personal situation. If it does, take a resonate. But if it does not, we'll leave the rest for those that it applies in their personal situation. So we're starting out with the uh, Nine of Cups. Uh, and this is actually really good to start out the energy with, which represents a wish fulfillment or success in a future endeavor. This is great energy to start out with. But look what comes out right after that, the world in reverse. So I really wanted to understand this, but the world in reverse, it represents, you know, being stuck and, you know, kind of not being able to move forward, which is definitely in contrast to this Nine of Cups. So I wanted to kind of look to see what was going on here the three of wands in the inverse comes out which is your ship's not coming in something didn't work out as expected so we're going to dig into that in a little bit but it goes right back to a positive energy here of having strength so you can look at the imagery here this is a woman kind of taming a, a lion so to speak she's got her hand in the lion's mouth she's taming that lion with strength so i love the fact this comes out and then they, we've got the nine of cups here but you got feeling stuck and not not getting something that it turned out to be whatever you thought it was. So we're going to dig into that a little bit here on the next line. So we've got, I'm going to read this line all together to be quite honest with you. So it'll kind of help put the story together. We've got the Knight of Cups in the upright. Um, we've got the Seven of Pentacles in the inverse. Nine of Pentacles in the inverse. And then we've got Nine of Swords in the inverse. So I'm going to read this together on purpose. Because I wanted, I wanted to clarify these two energies up here. Why is the world in reverse? And why is somebody's ships not coming in? Why aren't they getting what they expected? So typically, if we're moving on from something, we're having success and wish fulfillment, the world wouldn't be in reverse and the three wands wouldn't be in reverse and you wouldn't need to have strength. For this reason, I'm reading these two knights as negative energies, especially with this here in the seven of pentacles in the middle. So in the upright, it would mean some type of emotional offering. But the seven of pentacles is some frustrated action, having no patience. So you've got two upright cards with a negative card in the middle, right below the world in reverse. This is exactly why I'm reading this as two negative energies. I'm reading this as someone who's emotionally manipulative, manipulative, also that does things rashly, has no patience, and a knight of pentacles, someone who's materialistic and you know lazy and does not actually they're really shallow so i'm reading these two upright cards in the negative because of this especially because the knight of wands is in reverse the world are in reverse in this knight of swords this is somebody coming out of depression frustration and anxiety they had to have strength in order to do that that's why i'm reading these cards as negative even though they're in the upright also intuitively when i pulled this card the seven of swords or something seven of pentacles rather i should say what came to me intuitively is hidden agenda. I feel like somebody had a hidden agenda in this situation. And we're going to find out who that is here in this next line. So what came out next is the hangman in reverse. This is someone who refuses to see things from a different perspective. Notice this is right in line with the Nine of Cups. And again, I'm reading this not in the upright. I'm reading it in the inverse because someone who does not see things in the, a different perspective would not be in the upright. They would be someone who is emotionally manipulative. manipulative. Well, guess what? I'm reading this all correctly because the justice card came out right after that. Somebody had to call justice on the situation. They were being played, they were being manipulated. They had to call justice on the star in reverse. This is somebody who is doesn't shine, isn't the it person, doesn't, you know, they're, they're not, um, uh, they're not someone who is someone that's valuable. They, they don't outshine all the rest. So they're the opposite of the star. So when you have all of these energies together, right in line with something not working out as it as it um, as it should be or should have been, rather I should say, this is who the culprit is: the star in reverse, and those Knight of Pentacles energy in the inverse, and the Knight of Cups energy in the inverse. So the last card I, I got was the outcome of the situation. So we've got the Seven of Cups in the inverse, which means somebody made a right choice. If it was in the upright, it would mean illusions, um, not being able to make the right choice. But this came out in the inverse. I love this because it's right in line with having strength to come out of your fears, worries, and anxiety. Somebody had to make a right decision here, which is also why they're getting that wish fulfillment up here. But guess what? 
I was a little bit nosy. I pulled some of the other cards and I don't have any more space on my board yet, but I wanted more clarifiers in this situation. What is the backstory? So the first clar clarifier that I had after making, uh, making a right choice in the situation was a six of cups in the inverse. This is someone who's acting out of childhood wounds and childish and manipulative and probably naive. So this is who this person was dealing with. The next clarifier that I had was the Ace of Swords in the inverse. This is somebody who lies. This is somebody who does not tell the truth. They don't want the truth to come out. So that's another clarifier here. Confirmed by the moon in the upright. The moon is someone who hides things. And this is definitely part for the course. Um, intuitively, I heard hidden agenda. So they hide things. They're, they're liars and they hide things. So we've got the chariot coming out in the inverse. Whoever that person is, which again is the star in the inverse, they're stuck. They're not having any forward movement. Meanwhile, this person over here in the nine of cups is moving forward. More clarifiers. Ace of cups in the inverse. This is somebody who has no emotion. They do all of this out of pure ego, greed. There's no emotion with this person. And again, this is right next to the star reverse. Well, guess what? A tower hit. Some faulty foundation crumbled, some shocking news happened, something ended. Whatever that was built on lies and faulty foundation, i.e. this person who has no emotion and place people, a tire came to them today. The last clarifier is the Eight of Cups, which represents moving on. And again, tying this directly to um, this Eight of Cups and this Nine of Cups. This person had to move on from that situation and they're getting their wish fulfillment because they moved on. It didn't, the, whatever the situation with the star in reverse did not turn out the way they thought it was, but they're getting their wish fulfillment anyway because they're leaving this person. They're moving on. This is a great ending to this situation here because somebody does not need that star in reverse. They don't need them. They never did. So let's go ahead and get some advice in this particular situation here, and we'll go ahead and wrap this up. So we're going to start with our dreams of Gaia Tarot. All right, so it looks like this is the third, or Queen of Fire. So let's go ahead and read that beautiful imagery here. Let's go ahead and read this here. Keywords are warm, vibrant, sexual, sensual, independence, primal, expansive, and energetic. Some key phrases are be optimistic and enthusiastic, engage and stimulate all senses, give your full attention, be focused and confident, take pleasure in life, don't second guess yourself, Hold your head up high and avoid petty behavior. I love it. This is definitely some good advice for this person right here. Let's get a oracle card from our divine nature oracle and we'll wrap this up. Oh, this is perfect. Own your power. I love it. Let's go ahead and read that card number 34 and we will wrap this up. Own your power. Human beings are hardwired for love and belonging. We're also hardwired for struggle. When facing challenges, it's necessary to hold both of these truths in your hands. The power to withstand crisis and change comes from the indestructibleness of our soul stuff. Likewise, our heart's resiliency comes from a sense that we belong to the divine, to each other, and to our own lives. If you were not raised with this truth, let this moment catalyze the inner truth in you. You are bigger than you know, stronger than you think, and more radiantly loved than any happy fairy tale. Use that truth to transform everything you touch. That is beautiful advice. Congratulations to whoever is in this energy. You are moving on. You are loving yourself, owning your own power, and you get wish fulfillment without this person. This is beautiful. I, I go ahead and wrap this up here, guys. I want you guys to have a fabulous New Year's Eve. Stay, stay safe out there. We'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.